Nova Real Estate is crazy right now. Why waste time and money fixing up your home when you can quickly sell it as is? I mean, there is such high demand and low supply that all you have to do, put that sign in the yard, make up whatever price you want, and offers for top dollar will be flowing in. Does this sound like the best strategy to you? We'll discuss this and more coming up next. Hello and welcome to Living Out Loud and I'm Jason Fiala with Long & Foster Real Estate Christie's International based in Northern Virginia. Today we'll discuss whether updating a home before selling is a wise strategy or a waste of time and money, particularly in a hot real estate market. By now, most homeowners know the basics of preparing a home to sell, including decluttering, removing personal photos, retouching paint, having the carpets cleaned, etc. While that certainly helps with how the property shows, it does not improve the value in the eyes of the buyer. For homeowners who want to maximize the sale price of their home, going beyond these tactics is a must. Since the spring of 2020, the Northern Virginia real estate market has increasingly favored sellers. Homeowners have had the upper hand with buyers having less inventory to choose from, therefore giving more leverage to reaching their sales price and beyond. Of course, many believe that a seller's market means less time and effort preparing their home for sale and still getting the best result. Some even think with the market being so hot, the property will quickly sell on its own and multiple buyers will be outbidding each other up to an insane amount, no matter what. There are of course outliers to this, specific neighborhoods or even areas like Vienna and Falls Church have seen the height of demand where tiny older houses in desperate need of updates situated on a small plot of land will quickly put you in the million dollar plus range. These examples are the exceptions, not the rule. For all others, I suggest a more effective strategy that puts a seller in the best position to sell for the highest amount possible. Double down. I mean, double down on your property by investing time and money up front so you get the best result. Why leave money on the table? Choosing to sell as is during a seller's market may still get your property sold, but will it net you the highest proceeds in comparison? If ever a time to do so, it would be right now. With such few houses on the market, Give buyers something that will compel them towards an emotional offer where money is secondary and they are willing to do whatever it takes to purchase your home. How do you do this? Prioritize areas of the house that buyers today care about the most and that yield the best return on investment. In my market here in Northern Virginia, most qualified buyers want a clean, move-in ready house with updates to the kitchen, bathrooms, and flooring. Now you may be thinking, why not leave the house in its current condition and let the new owner add their preferences? There are several reasons why this isn't the best strategy. For one, you want to attract as many buyers as possible. If they see an outdated kitchen, builder grade bathrooms, and original finishes, rather than consider it an opportunity to make it the way they want, all they see is dollar signs. Two, buyers would rather pay a premium sales price for an updated property that essentially finances the improvements versus having to come out of pocket. Three, your home may attract a high ratio of first-time buyers or those on the lower end of the income spectrum. Since many qualified buyers only have enough money for their down payment and closing costs, buying a turnkey house is preferred even at a premium. As a seller, the reason this strategy makes the most sense is that you'll net higher proceeds with the sale and it puts you in the best position to dictate the terms of the contract. In 2021 alone, seven of my clients owned properties that required updating before hitting the market. They followed my advice and moved forward with the necessary updates before selling. And not only did all seven clients recoup their initial investment, but they all made thousands of dollars above what it would have sold for as is. One client even sold $85,000 above what comparable properties were selling for at the time. These properties were spread out across Northern Virginia, spanning over three counties. I mention this in case you're wondering if this has more to do with a hot neighborhood or one specific area. Not all properties require the same updates, so of course, costs will vary. Updates for the seven properties we just highlighted range between $2,000 and $33,000. In several instances, we were able to take a more high impact yet straightforward approach with simple improvements like power washing, adding curb appeal, and dressing up the yard, while other projects were quite extensive. For the average project that had the best return on investment, we focused on kitchens, bathrooms, and flooring with an average estimate of $20,000. For those projects, it was more of a blueprint where we had kitchen cabinets painted, we added tile backsplash, replaced 
carpet with luxury vinyl plank, installed quartz countertops, updated all lighting fixtures, installed recessed lighting, updated plumbing fixtures, and installed new tile in all the bathrooms while keeping the exact same footprint. You're probably saying, Jason, this sounds a lot like you're doing a flip. And in a way, it is, but on a much smaller scale. The goal is to convert the property from drab to fab, as they say on HGTV. Give buyers every reason in the world to fight over this property with other buyers in the market. Over the years, what I've found is properties are like mirrors. What you look like is what you attract. And if you do the work up front to stand out in the market, you attract top offers. I believe in this strategy so much that I personally front the money for these projects in my area and allow the client to pay me back at settlement, all for no additional cost. But if you're in a different market than Northern Virginia and have the financial means with resources to complete your project, I strongly recommend it. Go for it. If you're considering updating your home before selling or leaning towards selling as is, make sure to drop a comment below. Hey, what's up? If you like watching videos on the Northern Virginia real estate market, or if you'd like to see some of our unique listing videos, check out the playlist right here. Now, guess what? If you never want to miss out again, all you got to do is subscribe. Catch you next time. Thank you